Hey guys, Marion here. Welcome back to my channel and happy Purim. I'm really excited about today's video because it is a collab with some lovely ladies on YouTube. What we're going to be doing today is packaging and sending Mishloach Manot, which are gift baskets that you give on Purim, as well as opening gift baskets or Mishloach Manot from other ladies in the collab who send them to us. So it's a little bit of a surprise, unboxing plus making a Mishloach Manot. So this is Marion in the future. I've just received my Mishloach my note. In this second, I'm going to rewind to Marion in the past, making my Mishloch my note to send. <laughs> if you're new to my channel, welcome. I make videos about being a Jewish mom, and I would love if you hit that red subscribe button down below. And don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you like it. And make sure to check out all the other videos in this collab. You will see all of us making Mishloch my note, sending them, and unboxing the ones received. So it's really fun to see how different and creative they all are going to be. Let me tell you guys right now who else is in this collab. There are eight of us all together, and yes, I got my phone out to make sure I didn't miss anybody. So there's myself, there's Yara from Life to the Fullest, Ali from Ali's Best, Hana from Cheder at Home, Erica from Erica Terry, Marty from Everyday Jewish Mom, Melissa from Little Art Kosher Lunch, and Hana from Jar of Firefly. So I will link everyone's video below. It all kind of links to each other in a fun circle. So I love Purim. Purim is so much fun. It's one of the most joyous days of the whole year, and giving and receiving gifts is a big part of that. So let's jump into Marion in the past so you can see me making my Mishloach my note. But I wanted to start by making my own that I'm going to be sending and this one is going to my dear friend Melissa from Little Kosher Lunch. I absolutely love her. We actually got the chance to meet in person last summer when I was in LA and my heart, I just love her so much. So I am so excited to send her this Mishloach my note. So I'm gonna be assembling mine today for Melissa. It's gonna look a little different when she opens it because I'm giving it to my mom to take across the country to her. So I don't know if this basket will um, be able to go in the suitcase. So you might see her opening a box rather than a basket. All that aside, I wanted to make it look as beautiful as possible, at least right now. Um, but yes, yeah, so let's jump in. I'm gonna show you guys what I got going on. I baked. Homentashen, here they are. Um, so I have been making lots of homentashen over the past week and I believe I'm gonna be sending her those, although I might make a few more right before my mom leaves. I'm gonna pack these up though and if at the last minute I swap them out for some fresher ones, that so it be. Okay, so I have the homentashen. In terms of other food, Melissa has two gorgeous little girls, so I got her, um, I got them yogurt-covered raisins. I know being healthy is really important to their family, so I didn't want to go overboard on like candy or sweets or you know stuff with a lot of like processed chemicals and all that because um, they are super like natural, wholesome family, and I wanted to do my best to honor that. So yogurt cover raisins, still delicious and a special treat. And then for Melissa and her husband, I got this endangered species milk chocolate. I thought she might like this because um, a portion of the funds go towards um, caring for endangered species and it's just a really like fancy, nice chocolate. So that is for the adults. Then the other food I have is just some dried fruit that will like ship well. I have walnuts, almonds, and dates, so I'm gonna package those up. Um, and in terms of other gifts, I have this Sadaka box for the kids. It's like a Noah's Ark themed one, so I think that they'll like that. I also have a book. I got this from Melissa. It's called California Fruit and Vegetable Gardening. She's a huge gardener. They have this amazing garden in their yard and everything, and so I hope that she'll like this because they live in California. She just loves books in general, and especially ones with like beautiful photographs in them of nature and wildlife and related to gardening, so I hope you like this one, Melissa. And then for the kids, I actually, me and my son Max went around our house. I wanted to give a used book because I know that that's a big, um, that that's something really important to a little kosher lunch and her family because they really do a lot of reusing and recycling. So I thought it'd be nice for the kids book if we went around on our home and picked out one of our favorite books we um, that we wanted to give to her kids to read. So this one is called Here is the World and it's all the different Jewish holidays in it. It's really beautifully illustrated and it just goes through all the different Jewish holidays. So I think her kids will love that and I love that it's like a gift from my kids to her kids. Um, and then the other thing I have for her are these. These are my favorite. Melissa's really into zero waste and that kind of stuff. And these are actually reusable laundry bags, but I use them to um, 
to sort toys. They work perfectly. So I'll have like puzzle pieces in this, things like that. So all of those little um, mishigas that gets lost in the playroom and make things messy, I love these. You can also put all the bags in like a little hamper. By the way, anything I can link to that's from Amazon, I will link for you guys. So this I would say is a lot for a traditional mishalak mano. Often it's just home intention and some candy, but I wanted to go a little bit overboard and that's what I'm doing. In terms of other recycled items, I had these heart napkins already from Valentine. Valentine's Day. I have a lot of this extra blue crepe paper from I think one of my son's brisses. I have these little bags that say love is sweet. These are actually from our wedding. We had a dessert bar so I thought I could reuse these. And I have these for when I entertain. I always make sure, send, make sure to send my guests home with leftovers because otherwise I'm stuck with them. So I always send people with leftovers. So I always have those Chinese food containers. And then the last thing I wanna mention is this. My son made, I'll insert a clip. We got a bunch of stickers from PJ Library for Purim and we decorated some butcher paper to wrap things in. So that's what I got going on. I'm gonna start assembling things. And the first thing I'm going to do is actually put the home in in here. The first thing I'm gonna do is put in a little napkin just to sort of protect them. And then I'm gonna place them inside. I'll show you guys these home and fashion. They're really pretty. I just used a bunch of different um, sprinkles and designs. And all I'm doing is protecting them with this paper napkin. So this homentation recipe, I don't know if you could tell, but it produces a very sturdy homentation. It's perfect for mailing. I'll link the recipe below. So if you're mailing homentation or you just like that they keep their shape, I highly recommend this recipe. It's also good for adding um, like decorations like this, etc. Okay, so that's the homentation. Next thing I'm going to do is the dried fruit and I'm gonna package them in one of these Love is Sweet bags. So I think it's really nice, especially at this time of life, um, to think about reusing things you already have. So we already had all this dried fruit at home and that's like, we eat this stuff anyways. And all the packaging you're seeing that I'm wrapping stuff up in is just stuff I already had. And I know that Melissa will appreciate that. So yeah, I just tried to be thoughtful about what she likes, what interests her, and also some of the traditions of the holidays, like sweet treats homentation and including a Jewish book and a tzedaka box for the kids so that's still like on theme if that makes sense. Okay so that's my little dry fruit package. By the way for the mishloch manot to be kosher aside from using kosher things they just need to have two portions of food and there's a little bit of debate about what that means and what's considered a portion of food but basically you just want two different things that are a good size dropping my tape. A good sized portion to the people that see big M. So it's open to interpretation, but here is our two bigger food items. Okay, and now I'm going to put, I think the, um, the two little uh, raisins in another Love is Sweet bag. Okay, so I'm gonna use the wrapping paper my son made to wrap the Sadaka box. Okay, so I've got a good chunk of stuff going. Next thing I need to do is wrap the books. Okay, so I had an idea that to wrap some of the other things, instead of actually wrapping them all in paper, which is getting a bit wasteful, I thought I would just put some ribbon around them so that they still look like a nice gift, but I'll actually wrap them all. Okay, so when I make gift baskets, there's all different sorts of ways to do it, but I like to place the tallest items at the back and then just try to build up from there. Okay, so that's the 
finished Get Me Schloch Renault gift basket. I'm so excited by how it turns out. I just think it's beautiful and I know she'll be so excited to receive it and be thankful for, um, you know, this little gift from me to her. She does so much for this little YouTube community by putting up such wonderful videos. So I'm so excited to share this with her. And now I'm going to flash forward in time to me opening up my Mishloch Renault. Okay guys, I hope you liked that jump to the past. We're back in the present. I'm going to open my Michelle Lockwood note that I just received from my dear friend Allie from Allie's Best on YouTube. If you haven't seen her channel yet, I will definitely link it below with the others. Allie is a sweet new mom. She has so much to bring to YouTube. She has a really interesting and diverse background. I love learning from her. I love her videos, so definitely check her out. And Allie, thank you so much for this huge Michelle Lockwood note. Let's open it. Okay, it's, there's a little note here. Happy Purim, we hope you like the treats, everything except the M&Ms are vegan. Love Allie, Pat, Bo, and Bo, love Allie, Pat, and Bowie Mae. So um, I've been on a plant-based diet and Allie knows this, so she tried to keep everything vegan, which is so kind of her. Oh, and it's all decorated with a mask for her. This is so cute. Oh my goodness, Allie went over the top. Oh my goodness, you guys, look at this. <laughs> I'm like actually really overwhelmed right now. Allie. Okay, so the first thing in here are these masks. It's traditional and form to dress up. This is so cute. This is actually a little craft where you make the mask. So I'm definitely gonna be doing this with Max and my boys. This is so cute. Okay, let's unwrap. I'm gonna cut it. This is beautiful gift basket, Allie. Oh my goodness, look at this. Okay, okay, a jar of gummy bears. Those look amazing. Look at this beautiful rock candy. Oh my goodness, how fun is that? Look at those beautiful colors. Okay, then these look like chocolate covered nuts of some kind, let me see. Let me just sample my guys now. Some sort of candy covered nut. This is so good. Oh my goodness, look at these M&Ms. They're not exactly M&Ms. There's something different and magical about them. Some sort of chocolate covered candy. So good. Oh my God, another huge jar. I think this is chocolate covered raisins. Holy moly. Oh my goodness. Yeah, those are chocolate covered raisins. Those are so good. Thank you, Allie. This is so sweet of you. Chocolate covered raisins, by the way, are my son's most favorite food right now. Oh my goodness, look at this. These are home and fashion shaped Rice Krispie treats. That is so cute. Oh my goodness, look at this, guys. How cute is that? And then some home and fashion look like flaky pastry whoa these are like savory ones look how cool that is i'm gonna take a bite for you guys i say for you but really it's for me these are so good oh my goodness tally i can't wait to watch your video and find out how you made these those are so good oh my goodness i am overwhelmed I'm so appreciative. Thank you, Allie, for this. I hope you guys like watching this video. I'm gonna go cry right now, so I'm happy here because it's just so sweet. Thank you guys for watching. Give this video a big thumbs up it. A thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel, Allie's channel, everyone else's channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Happy forum, bye.